rate in the late 50s, early 60s was Eula Johnson. She came to the county in 1937. As she worked through the years, she fought for civil rights and braved danger for equal opportunities. Her fearless determination helped bring about change. After her husband died in 1957, Eula got totally involved in the black movement. From 1959 to 1965, she was president of the Broward County NAACP. Those were turbulent years. She remembers the conditions in the late 50s. We could not swim in the municipal beaches. If we went to the courthouse, regardless of what you went for, if, I don't care if you were on the top floor, you had to come to the bottom floor to get a drink of water. Uh, you could not ride the elevator up. You had to walk up the stairs regardless. After blacks were allowed to vote in the primary, Eula Johnson had a special role. After we were allowed to vote in the primary, I Mizell, Reverend I.W. Mizell, was the first man that voted that morning, and I was the second one. As the first black woman to vote, Eula was a primary influence in desegregating the public facilities in Broward. After leading marches with Dr. Von D. Mizell and taking carloads to the beaches for dangerous swims, the suit filed against Eula was a turning factor. Well, when I walked, I had only three people, three black people, for more support in the courtroom besides myself and Mr. Sanders and my lawyer. And that was the mother of my church, my pastor, and New Hope Baptist Church pastor. And when we uh, would come off the witness stand, it, it took the jury maybe four or five weeks to rule on it. And when he ruled on it, he desegregated everything there was that taxpayers' money went for in for Lauderdale. Pools, parks, beaches, everything. That was in 1964. She worked for better jobs for blacks, better education for black youth. Her dream is to live to see equality, true equality for all people. As for women and their contributions to Broward's history, Eula says it beautifully, like no one else can. Women have made a very great contribution in Broward County. That's the fact. Not all of them in civil rights, not all of them in, in education, well, most of them in education, but not all of them in civil rights. But from one way or another, they have been the foundation of Broward County. Wake up, men.